Okay. Uh, nice to meet you to all of the guests. Welcome to the session of the problem solution using the Pro CAFD software tool. In this presentation, there is it's will be divided into two parts. The first part is the presentation part, which will be presented by me, Jakapat Kongjen Kitkun. And the second part is the demonstration part, which will be demonstrated by Kwankunok Pudongwong. So first, let me briefly tell you about the PROS AFD. The PROS AFD or the PRO Computer Aid Flow Sheet Design is a program that can generate numerous alternatives for any new or retrofit synthesis problem, which most of the information has already been explained in the Professor Rafik lecture. The program used the computer-aided molecular design or the CAMD principle for simultaneous synthesis design and analysis of the process flow sheet. So let me explain you how the pro CAFD used the CAMD principle. First, when the problem is defined by using the CAMD principle, the program will generate a functional group but then it will combine the group to give the feasible molecule, and then it will screen the molecule using the property model. In the same way, the pro CAFD will generate the group and then it will combine the process group to form the feasible flow sheet structures. And then the program will screen the feasible flow sheet using the flow sheet property model. This picture here shows the software interface of the Pro CAFD, which you can see that the program has consists of three stages, the synthesis stage, the design and analysis stage, and the innovation stage, which the detail of each stage has already been explained in the Professor Lafrick lecture. So in this presentation, we're going to focus on the synthesis stage, but before that, this picture here shows the connection diagram of the Pro CAFD, which tells the overview of how the program connects to the database, the life cycle assessment, including the sustainability and the safety, the simulation to the property estimation, and also the process design. So that's why the Pro CAFD is an efficient tool for the entire analysis on the process design. As we mentioned earlier that the program has consists of the synthesis stage, the design and analysis stage, and the innovation stage. Then in this presentation, we will mainly focus on the synthesis stage and the design analysis stage and innovation stage will be mentioned in the later session. So what is the task of the synthesis stage? For the synthesis stage, the software will generate the alternative full sheet which based on the design specification that the user has given in order to find the best process alternative. So now let me tell you the input, the target that the user needs to define and the output that the program will generate in each step. First, the step one, the problem definition, the user needs to define the chemical system, the reaction data, the system input and output, and the temperature and moreover, the user needs to define the target property, such as the process specification, the process purity, for product purity, and the energy utilization. So the problem statement will be created. Then for the step two, the problem analysis, the program, when the problem statement has been created, the program will generate the reaction analysis, the mixture analysis, and the feasible separation type identification. Then after that, for the step three, the program will take the information generated in the step two and it will create the initialized process group. In the process step four, the program will use the information of the initialized process group and generate the alternative flow sheet, which stored in the form of the S file. And after that, in step five, the program will screen and rank the alternative by using the available model. So in this step, the user can rank the model in terms of the energy consumption, the carbon footprint, the product recovery, and the product purity. So now I want to show you how to perform the step one to step five. But before that, if you look at the picture carefully, on the top of the bar, the user can know what step they are performing. 
the first let's start with step one first we need to give we need to define the chemical system such as the raw material and the product and second we need to give the reaction information then after that we need to define the system input and output such as the stream data the stream composition the pressure and the temperature then we click next the program will create the problem statement and in this step the program will create the mixture analysis which first because user can look at the mixture analysis report in this box and then the second the program will generate the analysis of the binary pair with the user can look at the data of the asiotropic analysis, the drying course diagram, and the eudectic analysis. Then third, the program will create the binary ratio metric with the user can see the information of the binary ratio metric in the table. And fourth, the program will use the information from the binary ratio metric and the analysis of the binary pair to create the feasible separation technique then we click next. And after that, the program will use the information in the step two to create the process group, which consists of four process groups: the inlet process group, the outlet process group, the reactor process group, and the separation process group, which will be presented in this box. In this step, the user can see the number of the process group, which we show in this bar. For example, if there are four inlet and outlet process groups, the program will show four in this bar. Then we click next. For the step four, the generation of flow sheet, the program will use the information from the process group and create the flow sheet systematically based on the connectivity loop, just like the add-on and molecule. The program will generate the possible flow sheet and store in form of the S5, which the S5 is a string notation similar to a smile in string for the chemical compound. In this step, the program will list the alternative in this table and the user has the option that the user can click on open super O and the program will generate the superstructure of all the alternative. Moreover, user can click on the view button in order to observe the flow sheet of each alternative in, in ICAST program. Then we click next to step five. For the step five, the program will screen and rank the alternative by using the available model. In this step, the user can rank each model in terms of the energy consumption, the carbon footprint, the product recovery, and the product purity. So for the next step, I will show the example of the HDA process, which more detail of each step will be explained. The HDA process or the toluene hydroalkylation process is the process that produces benzene from toluene and hydrogen, which the reaction of this process is highly exothermic, which operates at approximately 600 to 580 Kelvin with a pressure of 34 bar. Since the HDA process has many alternative that can produce benzene. We can use the pro CFD in order to so create more alternative. First, we need to know the chemical system, which the chemical system is presented here in this table, such as the stream data, the pressure and the temperature. And second, we need to know the reaction data used in this step. And uh, all of this step will be demonstrated by Contano. First, for the step one, we need to define the chemical system, which is the compound used in the, the, the process. Second, we need to define the reaction data. And third, we need to define the system in the input and the output of the stream, such as the stream data, the temperature, and the pressure. Then the program will create the mixture analysis with the user can look at the mixture analysis report. You look, your user can look at the analysis of the binary pair. The user can look at the information of the aseotropic analysis, the drying force diagram, and the eudetic analysis. And then the program will create the binary ratio metric, 
which in this process, there are five compounds. So it means there is 10 primary pair in total. In this table, the table will show the property with respect to the binary pair. And based on the binary ratio metric, the program can generate the feasible separation technique. Then we click next. The program will use the information from the previous step in order to generate the process group, which consists of the inlet process group, the outlet process group, and the reactor process group. The information from this process group is from the step one. And for the separation process group with the data is from the step two. In this step, the user can look at the number of the process group which is shown in on the right bar here. Then after that, we click next. The program will use the information of the process group and generate the flow sheet systematically like the atom and the molecule, which store in form of the S5, which the S5 is the nomenclature for the flow sheet in the same way as the SMILE for molecule. The list of the alternative will be presented here with the user can click on open super O and the superstructure of all the alternative will be presented. Or the user can click on view and the flow sheet of each alternative will be shown in the ICAST program. Then we click next to step five. In this step, the program will screen and rank the alternative by using the available model, such as the energy consumption, the carbon footprint, the product purity, and the product recovery. So the user can list the alternative by using this four model. Since the model updates on the group contribution approach, the estimation of the property are very quick and efficient. Now let me give you another example, which is the alkene cane separation. So the task of the alkene separation is to separate the alkene compound, which consists of five compounds, the propane, the isobutane, the normal butane, the isopentane, and the normal pentane, which the, react, the uh, chemical data is in this table. So further, the user needs to define the chemical system. Since there is no reaction data, the user don't need to do anything about the reaction data and the user need to define the inlet and the outlet of the system. Then we click next, the problem will be generated. So the user will look at the mixture of the analysis report to see the report. And the user can look at the analysis of the binary pair, the azeotropic analysis in this button, the drawing forward program and the eudectic analysis. And the program will generate the binary ratio metric which in this process, there are five compounds. So there are 10 binary, binary pairs in total. And the program will generate the feasible separation technique based on the binary ratio metric and analysis of the binary pairs. Then we click next. And the program will use the information from previous step and generate the process group. And the user can look at the number of the process group on the right-hand side. Then after that, we click next. Then in this step, the user can classify the type of the process before the program will generate a possible flow sheet. For example, if the user wants to select only the alternative with our separation tax as relation, by clicking this stick, the program will automatically generate our separation tax as its relation. In this example, we will select two options. The first option is we, we will not choose anything then, program will generate all the alternative. And the second option is that we will click on choose our separation tasks at the selection and the program will create the flow sheet with the desolation. Then after that, we click next. Then for the step four, the program will generate the possible flow sheet with in this step, the user can click on open super O to view the superstructure, you can see that on the option one with the superstructure is on the top. The program will generate the superstructure with all possible flow sheets. And for the option two, the program will generate the superstructure with only the selection column as the picture on the bottom. And in this step, 
the program will screen and rank the alternative by using the available model. So the user can rank the alternative in terms of the energy consumption, carbon footprint, product purity, and product recovery. And now I will lend this present. Uh, presentation to Konkonok for demonstrating the CoCAFD software by going through all of this step again. Hello, everyone. I'm Konkonok Udovong. I am delighted to be here to give you a software demonstration. So first, I will open the ProCA software first. Mm -hmm. Turning now to the case example application of ProCAFD. According to the HDA case study, now I want to demonstrate the ProCAFD software and its embedded tool. Before we start the project, user need to select whether they would like to create new project here or continue with the same project. The new project can be created by, create, by clicking Create New Project. Here, here is the ProCAFD software interface. Okay, as Jakapat have described, the software consists of nine steps, along with the process heat integration. The first step is problem definition. The objective of this step is to define the synthesis design problem in terms of the chemical involved and fits or raw material and the product. Also the reaction data in here. Starting with the uh, to define the chemicals that are involved in the process. In this case, three options are viable, which is searched by cast number, searched by chemical name, and searched by formula of chemicals. In this case, five compounds of HDA process are selected. So the quickest way to indicate the accurate compound is to insert that cast number in here. So I will insert the cast number of first compound, which is hydrogen. and then select hydrogen and click add compound. Next will be methane. And next is another reactant, which is toluene. And the main product, which is benzene. and uh, by phenyl. Okay, so when we add the compound, it also retrieves the properties of the chemical that are involved. And for some property that are missing, it will predict, predict them through the in-house property estimation tool also. Another significant data are inlet and outlet of the process. According to the case definition, two inlet and four outlet are defined. User can click this button to add the, and the inlet streamline. So in this case, I will add the inlet twice with four outlet. After that, user have to insert the data of each stream that uh, input and output of the process by double click in the stream mm -hmm. and then insert the condition. So in here, inlet one is 34 ATM with 0.9 of hydrogen and 0.1 of methane. And for order, it will equal to zero. After uh, user have insert all of the data, user have to click save and all of the, da the data will be saved in, in this stream. Mm -hmm. So next it peel totally in. I will insert pressure with zero or truly in it will be equal to one and then click save again mm -hmm. so now i already insert the input data next will be the outlet the first will be uh the mix and reactant which is a and b compound so c d and d must be zero and then click save 
next is outlet two, which is only unlit turns to the in. And next is our main product, which is benzene. Okay, and the last one is our byproduct. Okay, then after we uh, proceed with the determine, uh, after user already insert the inlet and outlet stream, the procedure FD will determine if the reaction are involved when the chemical entering and leaving the process are different. So in this case, after I input uh, all the data, the reaction data will turn red because it uh, found that the there are no benzene and toluene in any in the stream. If the reaction data are in search, this, re re this reaction data will turn to green. Mm -hmm. So I will click reaction data. Where reactions are involved, ProCFD will require the corresponding reaction data. The software will allow user to add the data along with the stoichiometry uh, or the order of, re of, of reaction in terms of optional kinetic model parameters or conversion rate depending on user decision. In this case, with regard to the HDA problem that I have described, the generated HDA problem will be demonstrated. So I will close this one and close this one. And I will click open set project to uh, open generated HDA problem that I have created. Okay, so here is the project that I have defined. The five compound are added and inlet and outlet stream are defined. Then I will click reaction data. So in here, two reaction of hydro dealkylation process, which are uh, totally in with hydrogen to generate benzene and methane. And then benzene can convert to biphenyl and hydrogen. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and then uh, it will show the conversion of each reaction. For example, this is a point 0.75 for reaction one and point 0.15 for reaction two. And it also show the condition of the reaction that occurring in the, in the process. After I call this one, it will become green since the reaction data is ready. All in all, this is the only step that you still need to insert the information. The software will auto-generate all of the results in the further step based on the information in these T parts. So in this demonstration, I would like software to do the live calculation. So I will go to setting tab and click for auto-calculate. So now the software will auto-calculate every time that these steps are run. And after all of the necessary information or process are added, the step two can be continued. Okay. And the objective of this step two is to generate the information needed to perform a detailed mixture analysis. During this step with five compounds that we have insert, the 10 pairs of compound will be formed and the program will calculate the acetyltrope, eutetic point and the Darwin fault of these pairs. And then use the data to calculate binary ratios of properties leading to the set of feasible process op operation technique that can be used for system consisting of the considered compounds. So here for each binary components pair, analysis is performed to identify the acetyltrope and to provide a potential approach to separate them. And also the diving force are plot and, uh, and, the, and the diving force diagram will show the data of each binary pair such as benzene and toluene or the toluene with biphenyl and then it will identify the eutetic point in here for each pair. And second, the binary ratio of properties that show all of the property of each pair 
This is performed by retrieving data from ICAST database. For compound that are missing data or new component, the property are calculated using PROPET2. And lastly, by using the binary ratio metric, ProCFD identifies the set of feasible separation techniques. Here, the feasible process operation technique of each pair are identified, and this method will be based on the principle that every process operation task is associated with one or more PO component properties. According to the, to the method, to separate two, two components using a given operation task, the feasibility is checked by comparing its ratio with the uh, PO component property and their should value. Okay, so I will go to next step. Next is uh, step 3A. Mm -hmm. So in this step, all of the process group that can be used to perform the identified processing tasks are identified. The selection and analyzation of process group is based on the analysis of synthesis problem that we carry out in the step two. Mm -hmm. According to the process group concept that have mentioned, there are three types of process group. First is the analyzation of inlet and outlet process group. The inlet and outlet process group are selected and initialized with the corresponding components. So in HDA can example, if the process group initialized with I letter, it means it is the inlet process group. And for this example, there is two inlet process group. In the same way, if it if it is outlet process group, it will initialize with O, and in here there is four process group for four outlet stream. Second, selection and analyzation of reaction process groups. From step two, the complete list of reaction along with chemical compounds are viable. So in this case, it will initialize with R E later for the reactor process group. And finally, the separation process group are selected from all of the feasible separation technique in step two. Based on the identified feasible separation tasks during the synthesis problem analysis, for each feasible task, the software will select and initialize corresponding process group for all of, for all of the component combination that feasible. And in this case, uh, there are DL for the distillation, FL for the fetch evap, LA for the liquid absorption, and PV for the pervaporation. Mm -hmm. And with the slide, it will indicate that which compound are in each product stream from this process group. Mm -hmm. And from all of the process group that are list, the total number of inlet and outlet are six. The total number of separation process group are 168. The total number of reaction is one, for, so the total number of process group is 175. Okay. Next is step 3B. So in step 3B, the, de the designer will provide the spatial constraint, if any. For example, if uh, we consider only the separation by distillation, like option two, user can pre-select some group. Yeah, and uh, all of the option that have only distillation will be, will be available in the next step. But we will first generate all of the possible generation first. So we click next. So in this step four, the initialized process group are combined according to a set of rule and specification to generate a feasible alternative for cheese structure. So in here, uh, in this example, because there are four product stream, so uh, the minimum of the separation step will be three. Mm -hmm. So it is three separation process group in each alternative. The method will generate a four sheet alternative by combining the process group according to the co connectivity rules. First, an inlet process group is included, and then the reaction, and then the separation process group will be added. And the separation process group will be added 
uh, based on the inlet connection map with the inlet of each process group, as in the example. So in here, if I go to uh, alternative 65, it means that the inlet is C compound and AB compound. Then these two inlets go to the reaction and go to the fat unit with the two distillation unit. Mm -hmm. And also from all of the generation, uh, the alternative 65 and alternative 200 is the full sheet that already available in the published literature. And with no restrictions of selected process group, uh, 340 for sheet are generated. The simplified for sheet can be generated by clicking on this button, which is blue. And then uh, this will provide the efficient story of structural information of the process alternative associated with the numerous potential separation type. And this for sheet will be used for the mass balance calculation. Then we call this one. User also can see the superstructure by click open super O. Mm -hmm. But since Super O is very large system, so I will go back to 3B step and choose only just a distillation option and click next again. Then it will have just only 10 feasible for sheets left that are gener generated mm -hmm. with only fetch and distillation process group. Then I will click open Super O. In the software, when user click open super O and input file will be generated, which will convert data into form into form as can be imported directly to super O and GAM interface. Mm -hmm. So this is the super structure. So it it uh it will formulate a processing step interval network superstructure and formulate a mixed integrator nonlinear program for GAMS optimization also. Okay, so I will call this one. And after we got all of the four sheet alternative, next is step five. In step five, the feasible four sheets are ranked in terms of performance criteria, the energy consumption, the carbon footprint, and product recovery. After all of the feasible process alternative are generated, ranking is performed to select the most promising alternative. And in, the, and in this step, designer can select one or more processing route for the further analysis in order step. We can rank by clicking at the head column, like if I would like to rank energy consumption, it will rank the alternative based on the value of this column. And then uh, user can select the alternative that they are interested by right click and click select. So despite the several optimizing steps that I have demonstrated, cross AFD define and solve the process synthesis problem to determine the optimal or the appropriate processing route to give the, uh, from the given data in step one. And after this step, the, ne the next step, the selected uh, alternative will be designed and analyzed, and we will continue this part on the next chapter of the webinar one. Thanks for your attention. Thank you very much, uh, Konkanuk and Jakrapath. I see that in the chat box there are some questions. Maybe Oracle can read them out. Yes. For the first question, is there any trial version of this software? Oh, maybe I can take that. Uh, okay. Yes, we can give a special license uh, for one month or something like that. That can be arranged. Okay, the next one is, which is the library used for GUI? For the interface, you mean? Uh, 
Konkano, can you answer that or is Anjan there? The interface, the library for the different uh, screens of the interface, graphical user interface. Did you use a library or uh, did you make your own? Uh, sorry, uh, can I answer that? So it's based yes. upon uh, csharp.net. So it's not a library. It's uh, based on uh, Microsoft uh, Visual Studio and environment. So I should introduce Anjan also. Anjan is the uh, my former PhD student, and uh, he's now a faculty member in uh, Zhejiang University in China. And he is the developer of the software that Konkanok is further developing now. Okay, next question. Next, um, can we add components which are not present in the component database? Oh, okay. Anjan or Konkano can sir. Yes, uh, as of now, uh, we haven't given that option to the user, but certainly we as a developers can do that. But uh, that, that is also in the pipeline that we wanted to create an user database so that users can add their own uh, uh, compounds and the properties related to it. Okay, um, next, which formulation is used in the super or to handle discrete decisions? Uh, I can answer that because uh, when, when you, when you are uh, giving the intervals for each processing step, you actually draw the connections that you are going to allow. And then based on it, SuperO is just going to put the, uh, the constraints as a summation of the different uh, possibilities. So if let's say from one interval, we want to allow it to go to three other intervals in the next step, then the summation will be three. If we want it to go to only one, then it will be one. And depending on what we have drawn in the user interface, the, co uh, the software will automatically code that. <clears throat> so that's how we do it. And, and uh, for those that are not set any values, the software will, because it's a MILP problem, then it will find the values for this uh, uh, zero one variables. I hope okay. I answered your question. Um, next, do we have to insert to thermodynamics properties or it calculate automatically? Uh, the thermodynamic property packages uh, is automatically selected based upon the compounds you have selected and the um, kind of a phase diagram you're trying to create. So it automatically does that. But the user can change it afterwards if they want to. Okay. Can it apply in non-conventional materials such as coal and biomass? If it can, how many parameters does ProCFD need? Okay, I can answer that. Uh, um, it actually depends because when I showed the model, the model has a mixer, model has a reactor, model has a waste separator and a component separator. It doesn't matter whether it's conventional or unconventional as long as any, any operation can be defined through these four options, it is possible. So we have, uh, taken non-conventional biomass and converted into different ways. So what it requires is that if there is a separation, we need the separation data so that we can back calculate out the separation factor. If there is multiple reactions taking place, we can just take the input output and convert them into a consolidated conversion stoichiometric reaction, pseudo reaction. So 
And if we want any waste to go out of the system, we again can calculate the separation factor and identify it as waste so it will go out vertically rather than uh, horizontally. So it really doesn't matter at this stage uh, which is the actual conventional unit operation because in principle with mixer, reactor, separator and divider, almost any process can be represented. Is the process group also in so wind based deflations? Uh, uh, Sean, yes, uh, we, we do have a process group related to liquid liquid extraction and extractive distillation. Uh, right now, we are in uh, kind of testing all those things, and uh, yes, it will be soon uh, be available for the users also. Also, we do have a azotrope database or a program called Azopro. So it will check if any <clears throat> binary pair forms an azotrope, and then based on the data, whether it is uh, pressure sensitive or not. And for most of the homogeneous azotropes, we have already found the best solvent, and that is already in the Azopro software, together with the process flow sheet for that. So the idea is that if we find uh, azotrope, and we want to use solvent based, we can just extract that part of the process flow sheet and add that to the one that is generated in ProCFD. So at this moment, these are two separate tools, but they can be connected together. Mm. While developing this software, did you create your own chemical data? or use some research which are already available? Mm. I mean, while developing it, uh, we have our own uh, database and uh, it has more than data for close to, I guess, 20,000 chemicals. Um, so yes, uh, these, these data were uh, collected over the time of at least 10 to 15 years. Yes, Rafi? Yes. Yeah. So, so we have our own database and I would say our database is more complete than others maybe, but we are continuously increasing the database size. Because in the, in the other uh, webinars, like the product design, chemical substitution, uh, there we need many more compounds and many more properties. So there is one database with uh, 800,000 compounds, but only 20% has data. The remaining 80% does not have any data except the molecular weight and the smiles. So we need uh, property prediction tools to fill them up. Are ionic separation being considered in software? Uh, on this system at this moment, no, but uh, we do have, you saw that in the background, there was a ICAS simulator that was doing those. So we do have uh, aqueous electrolyte system for which we can generate uh, the solid saturation diagrams and design the crystallizers. But we have not integrated that uh, into ProCFD because we need to also design it so that it can be represented with uh, mixer, reactor, separator, divider. So that, uh, we can do it if somebody is interested. And last question. Will the software only consider binary as your trope? <clears throat> no, actually it depends on uh, how many compounds are there. If let's say there is uh, four compounds and only one pair forms an azotrope, it's unlikely that there would be a ternary azotrope. But if two pairs form an azotrope, then it could be that uh, two binary pairs may form a ternary azotrope. Then we have the means to check for the ternary azotrope. There is some more questions? No. no. Anybody has a question, you can raise hand.
Okay, there is a question here, it says, there was a raised hand somewhere. Participant 40, Carlos. Um, but there are some questions on the chat box though. So from okay. participant 58. Yes. Can you read? Um, why does the preliminary economic evaluation did not become a parameter to at the ranking stage? Uh, I'm not sure I understand the question. Why does the preliminary economic evaluation? Um, at this moment, remember that, uh, <clears throat> yes, that's a good question if I have understood correctly. Remember that we have not done any simulation at this moment because we have a flow sheet, but we do not know if the separation technique was distillation, what would be the number of stages, feed location, and all of that. We, before doing the simulation, we cannot do the economic evaluation, but uh, we could actually, in the same way we generated the energy data, we might be able to generate the cost data and make a group contribution method for the cost data. If somebody is looking for a project, I can give this as a project. And are you have database of fatty acid, palm oil, biodiesel, gasoline, etc. in your program library? Yes, we do have it. We have a special database for, we call it the lipid database. And the lipid database, I think is bigger and uh, have better data than Aspen or Pro2. But uh, that lipid database will include fatty acids, palm oil, biodiesel, glycerin, all that. And we have connected that also with Pro2. Yeah. Uh, not only uh, properties, I think we also have estimation models and uh, tools for that, right? For lipids? Yes. We still have time, so there are two more questions, so. Um, some people have asked me that the lecture and the recorded video will be posted in somewhere. Yes, we will post in our website, right? Yes, uh, so what we are trying to find is what is the best way to put those recorded message, uh, uh, videos. And we do have PSC for Speed has a, <clears throat> has a YouTube channel. Uh, and we would ask anybody who would like to see those things uh, to subscribe to the YouTube, uh, to our YouTube channel. It's free, but one has to subscribe because that's how YouTube can, can see how many visitors we have. And then once you subscribe, you would be able to uh, get access the, the recorded videos. And we have other uh, videos also that could be interesting for you. So. We are trying to create this uh, uh, subscription-based YouTube channel. We already have the channel, but we are going to make it easier and better for any visitor to download them and use them. Another any question more? is that, did you mention that you didn't use simulation method in this, in this software? Up to now, tomorrow you will see we will use simulation. Because at this moment, uh, we are only ranking the process flow sheets. And to generate the process flow sheets, we have not used any data that would be needed for simulation. And we have not generated any designs for the unit operations. So that's why our uh, energy index and, uh, and recovery 
and uh, carbon footprint are based on group contribution method in the same way that group contribution works for molecular property. But tomorrow, the lectures will say, okay, if we have the flow sheet, then for each unit operation in the flow sheet, how to do the design. And then once we have all the design parameters that are needed for a rigorous simulation of the process, then we will actually go to the process flow sheet uh, simulator and simulate it. So the input file will be created automatically and the sim uh, external simulator will be launched. And then once the simulation is done, that simulation data will be then taken up by the cost um, calculation tool, LCA uh, analysis tool, sustainability, safety, all of these, and then they all will be done. So all of these will be demonstrated tomorrow. Okay. Are there more? I see seven new messages. If anybody wants to ask the question with uh, the microphone, feel free to just raise your hand and ask your question. I can see one question. Can you share the link of your YouTube channel? Yes, I think it is in our website already, but yes, we will share it. Or of course, maybe you can put as a message the YouTube channel link. Okay. Okay, if that is all, I don't see any raised hands. So thank you for all of you for participating. And uh, we look forward for Paul, no. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. So tomorrow we will do from step five that you saw today, ranking of the flow sheet all the way to analysis of the flow sheet, analysis of the process flow sheet, together with defining targets for improvement. So the idea is that we have a flow sheet, we analyze, we find out how different ways we can analyze and improve the flow sheet. And then we go to stage three, where we satisfy the targets for improvement. And by definition, if we satisfy the targets for improvement, it is a more sustainable alternative. So that will be in stage three. So that's where process int intensification, int process integration, optimization, hybrid separation, all of these things will come. So tomorrow is more, the, the actual design is the standard design, but we do the reverse design which can be more interesting. And then how we use the simulated data for analysis. Okay. So if there are no more questions, then thank you very much for attending today. And we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye.